While it's human nature to think thoroughly when making a decision, evaluating a situation, or making plans for the future, it becomes overthinking when you can't get out of your own head. What if I said the wrong thing? How will I ever prepare this test in time? Overthinking can ruin your mood, day, and also can ruin your sleep cycle. It is like having an imaginary conversation, with yourself or creating a scenario and you've been thinking about it for 15 minutes before you even notice. However, if you have control over your thoughts and you limit your imagination, you can least ward off some negative, anxious, and stressful thoughts and save your time from being wasted and can do something useful and productive instead. Photo by Nijwam Swarjiri on Unsplash in a lockdown, there is nothing much to do to distract yourself from your thoughts. As you have plenty of time, you end up thinking about past mistakes, decisions for future, and present responsibilities. This becomes too much for an individual to handle. You begin to drown in the ocean of your thoughts. It is very important to stop yourself before this overthinking lead you to depression. Here are a few steps you can take to distract yourself and indulge in other forms of activity even in the course of lockdown. This will keep your mind away from negative thoughts and prevent overthinking. Notice that you're overthinking, before you can stop yourself from overthinking, you must realize that your mind is repeating the same thoughts and they stay longer in your head than they actually should. Step back and observe your thoughts. In order to master your emotions, you need to get to the root cause. Once you realize that you have a thought stuck in your mind or creating a scenario that is upsetting you, you get the control over your mind. Try to think positively, once you catch yourself enclosed in negative thoughts stop. Visualize all the things that can go right and keep those thoughts present and upfront. Distract yourself with positive thoughts. Revive memories of all the times you were ecstatic and lively. Or you may indulge yourself in any healthy activity even during quarantine, like mediation, dancing, exercise, learning an instrument, knitting, and drawing. This will relax your mind. Photo by Tonic on Unsplash Don't run after perfectionism, overthinking and perfectionism go hand in hand. Instead of beating yourself up for imperfections and being scared of making mistakes, come up with new ideas, make mistakes, and learn from them and move on. Being ambitious is great but aiming for perfection is unrealistic and impractical. Know that nothing can be perfect. Don't take failure at heart. Remember nothing goes as planned. If you keep this in your mind, your past mistakes won't haunt you and you won't be scared to make future decisions. Don't think too much about the past, overthinkers also ruminate about the past, beating themselves up about should-haves and could-haves. Remember past can not be changed. Letting go of the past means you don't let your mistakes control your mind and future decisions and you don't let bad things that have been done to you control your emotions. Photo by Jude Beck on Unsplash Get Help, when you can not find a way to put an end to these uncontrollable thoughts by yourself. Ask a close friend or family member to help you distract your mind. Even if you can't explain your thoughts, it still will help you to give your mind a break from overthinking.